Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. In my previous video, we hooked up the Helltech Wi-Fi LoRa 32 V3 to a GPS module flashed with Meshtastic, and we got to check out how the Helltech V3 works with the GPS and Meshtastic. But that was on a breadboard, so I went ahead, went into Tinkercad, and designed this case. I wanted this case to be big enough to hold an 18650 battery, the GPS module, and of course the Helltech V3. Yeah, look for the link down below to my Thingiverse page where you can find this design. You can download it and print it for yourself. Yeah, so this was this basic V4 case. I wasn't quite finished with the lid there yet. But the case gives you a good idea, and that one's ready to print. We're going to download the STL, export at STL. And we're going to drag that into Cura, the slicer to get ready for 3D printing. Now, I didn't realize I was having a problem with my hot end on my Ender 3, so my printing temperature is rather high here. That's what it was taking to get plastic out. My uh, hot end finally failed after I printed several of these cases. We're going to use tree support. We don't need build plate adhesion, no brim or anything like that. Otherwise, it's just the standard wall thickness, top and bottom layer thickness, and we're using a 10% fill. Let's go ahead and export that out to G-Code. We're slicing it right now. And it's going to take 7 hours and 31 minutes. Save that G-Code. All right. We're going to open up that folder so we can uh, load that up. I'm going into Home Assistant and switching on the Wi-Fi plug that runs my 3D printer, the Ender 3, and it's hooked up to Octoprint. So here's my Octoprint server that's hooked up to my Ender 3. Once that loads up, we can drag that G-code over into the interface here and drop that. Now I'm just going to, there it is right there, Heltec V3 GPS V4 case. Go ahead and hit print. We're going to watch things warm up. Yeah, Octoprint's pretty cool. It makes it real easy to, like I didn't even get out of my chair. I just switched it on from the living room. And, and started it up and you can see here I can even monitor it via the webcam there and here's a time lapse of it printing that case all right so let's check out this wiring here you see 46 and 45 45 is going to RX oh no 45 is going to TX and 46 is going to RX and then you got VCC and ground of course, you can watch my previous video. There's the antenna uh, mount there. All right, so I'm starting to do the wiring. There's the battery holder, and it's hooked up to the switch. We're just doing the hot side to the switch. And then this is a battery connector that I just got. We found out later on <laughs> it's reversed. The switch will usually friction fit pretty well in that hole there. But I'm going to go ahead and hot glue it. I've hot glued the battery holder there. And I've hot glued the switch. Just in case. And you see i got that 175 millimeter antenna mounted there. Yeah, let's take a closer look at this uh, battery connector. Oh, no, first. Okay, so there's the GPS module. It's hot glued to the back of the carrier. And I hot glued the antenna over there on that side of the carrier. Of course, there's the Heltec V3 in the carrier. There's just a little slot for it to slide in there. The buttons are just kind of floating, and uh, you know, you just close the lid and the buttons will act actuate the buttons on the Heltec V3. Yeah, you see there, the plus side is corresponding to the black lead on the battery connector and the minus sides corresponding to the red lead on the battery connector. So the battery connector I got was not good. I just reversed the battery. Now I find out that I can't glue the GPS module antenna on the same side as the 18650 battery. This was my dry run, my prototype here. So we're going to just break that loose and we're going to glue it over on this side here. There we go. And everything closes up just nicely there. And we're ready to drop the lid on this thing and seal it up. There we go. You just got to be careful not to lose the buttons when you go 
to put the lid on. I'm one-handing it because I'm holding the camera in the other hand there. There we go. It's fired up and ready to go. That was a M3 15 millimeter and three M3 10 millimeter screws to hold the lid down. And we can flip through here. Whoa, I got a satellite. I got a fix. I'm going to have to blur some of that out. So you can see the utility of this. You, can, you have your GPS so you know your location. You can see the location of your peers that have GPS. Okay, let's go touch some grass. I want to check in on several different points at Rito River Park. Here I'm at Craycroft and River Park. Checking the GPS functionality and it's got me right where I'm located there. So that's rather convenient. I'm a little too far down into the riverbed though. Okay, so we're at Craycroft and the Rideau River Park here. And that's Craycroft over that way. And there's the river behind me there. The Rideau River dry bed. Yeah, I think I'm a little too far down into the riverbed. It's like I'm below line of sight to anybody else and my ping won't go through. Yeah, 1022 AM, ping didn't make it. So we're going to go to Columbus and Rideau River Park. Let's check our GPS functionality here. I'm just going to click on that GPS coordinate and it's going to take me right to my location on the map. There we go. Okay, we're a little further west on the river park. And we've gotten this far anyway. The river's back over there. All right, let's see if we can get a ping out here. Now we're a little further into the river park there. Oh, I got a ping through and I actually got a reply. So that looks pretty good. We're going to go a little bit further down. This is closer to Alvernon. That's a very ornate Rito River Park sign made out of rustic metal there. Let's check our GPS location. And it's got me at the right location there. Let's see if we can get a signal out. Okay, so we're a little further west along the river park here. You can definitely see the riparian habitat. Wonderful views. Wonderful views of Mount Lemon. And all the way back. Yeah, this is great. All right. Okay, so I sent a message, read a river check. And someone replied. 0F7C replied, copy. And someone else, yeah, 73E8 also replied, received. That's uh, Sharko Flowing Wells. Let's see how far away that is from where I am. So you can see the utility of this. You, can, you have your GPS so you know your location. You can see the location of your peers that have GPS. And you can communicate back and forth. It's pretty, uh, there's uh, some pretty good utility here. And we're a fair bit away from that location. Yeah, we're all the way over here. All right, so look for the links down below to check out this case. I added some handles to that one. You can check it out at my Thingiverse page there. Leave a comment down below. Give this video a like. And before you go watch more of my videos, whether it's Meshtastic or Helltech V3, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.